Good morning everyone. This is Vishal from Turakin Academy. Today we will be talking about a setup combining two technical indicators, the Bollinger Band and the MACD indicator. We have taken the default parameters in both the indicators for Bollinger Bands. We have taken the 20 time period and the two standard deviation. And MACD we have taken 12, 9 and 26. Today we will be using the Bollinger Bands for a different uh, use mostly this indicator is used by mean rewarding traders for uh, finding appropriate tops and bottoms for reversals. We will be today actually looking at this indicator combining with MSD for uh, good trends and uh, we need to find a proper squeeze in the Bollinger Bands which is not very common although if we find one the trade setup is extremely good. First, what we need to know is uh, whether the Bollinger Bands are squeezing or not. We can see over here that the upper band, after a decent consolidation in the Nifty Futures, we could see the upper band coming down and the lower band going up. This is called a squeeze. The activity of the prices are also extremely range bound. We can't see the price going up, neither coming down. It is just in a range and suddenly the prices close and cross above the upper band. What happens due to this is the upper band of the Bollinger Bands widens up on the upside and the lower band goes down. This is called the expansion of volatility and a start of new trend. Along with that, we can also see the bullish crossover in the MACD indicator. This indicates the start of a new trend. You can see that prices are around 8166 and all the way from 8166 prices have rallied to 8668 it's a decent rally in nifty futures even same thing over here we can see that the decent squeeze in the Bollinger Bands over here and over here the lower Bollinger Band is going up the upper Bollinger Band has gone flattened and suddenly there is a break of the lower Bollinger Band the upper band goes upwards the lower band goes downwards over here the trend is not so big enough but uh, we can at least see a drop of from 83 onwards to 8007 al almost a drop of 300 points guys the price almost retraced the 61.80 percent retracement of this previous trend okay let's find out for a new setup once again we can see over here that the, that the upper band and flattish the lower band came upwards and the prices were nothing doing nothing going up and coming down they were almost in a range and suddenly we can see the prices closing above the upper bar the upper bar starts moving upwards the the lower band i'm sorry the upper band starts going upwards the lower band comes down and this is called the expansion of volatility along with the expansion of volatility we could also see the buy signal in the MSCD this triggers a buy trade and from 8515 we can see a rally till 9000 levels this is a rally of almost 500 points okay once again in nifty we can see over here that uh, prices were extremely range bound in the month of may especially towards the later half of the month and one big green day and the second day prices cross the upper Bollinger Band and the upper Bollinger Band moves upwards the lower band moves downwards and we could see an expansion in the volatility and along with that expansion in volatility there is also a buy signal in the MACD which triggers a new buy trade and uh, from the prices of 8062 there is a small rally towards 8318 Let's uh, try this particular concept in some other stock. Let's try and in DLF. Okay. Uh, recently, we have seen that DLF was pretty much range bound since last few days, and the Bollinger Bands over here they were pretty wide enough, and slowly and steadily, we could see the DLF stock. Uh, the, the DLF uh, the range in the stock of 
DLF getting uh, very smaller and smaller and you could see the upper Bollinger Band coming down and the lower Bollinger Band also going upwards. This is called the squeeze and suddenly after the squeeze we could see a big gap up in the DLF and with along with this gap up we could also see the expansion in volatility and the upper Bollinger Band going upwards, the lower Bollinger Band coming downwards. One more thing for the confirmation what we could see is the bullish crossover in the MACD. This triggers a buy trade. In this buy trade we could also see from the prices from 144 reaching to 153 in just a matter of three days. Okay, so this was the buy setup. What about the sell setup? And the sell setup over here in the month of November, December and January Consistently three months, uh, the, the stock was in a very tight range. We could see the gap between the upper and the lower Bollinger Band was wide enough and slowly and steadily the gap was getting lesser and lesser and lesser. This is called the reduction in volatility. And suddenly one fine day the prices close below the lower Bollinger Band. And what happens to the upper Bollinger Band is the upper Bollinger Band starts moving upwards. You see this curve and the lower Bollinger Band starts coming downwards. This is the expansion of volatility. Along with this expansion of volatility in the Bollinger Bands, we can see a sell signal in MACD and the MACD going below the zero line. Remember guys, whenever, whenever the MACD gives a sell signal below the zero line, the potential move on the downwards is mostly big enough and we can see stock cracking from 106 levels to almost 72 levels that's all guys for right now trade well